Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put an item into a special navigation collection called On Sale. So I am going to show you my uh, development site here. This is for a wine store. We're on our home page. And this is what the website looks like right now. Uh, the home page shows um, the regular things. And um, this is the wine that's for on sale right now. Um, it's under the category wine for winos. This is one of the collections I made on the home page. Now you can take a look at the menu here and I created a navigation called on sale now as well as a navigation a drop down for the different types of wines and um, this particular wine is happens to be under wine for winos and there's the collection it has three wines in it the already on sale is the carlo rossi wine so that's my starting point so i am going to endeavor today to show you how to put another uh, wine for wine on sale so i'm going to go back up to my <clears throat> my home page and i'm going to pick out a product and i am going to make the product um, expensive delicious port to be on sale today so to do this i am going to um, go in here and add a headline and the headline is going to be on sale till sunday and i am going to make this an h1 so it's nice and bold and i'm also going to change the color to red now the sale price is very important to change the sale price, I'm going to make it, let's say, $42, and the original price was $50. So having done that, I'm also going to go here to tags, and I'm going to tag this as on sale. On sale, and I'm going to save that. The reason I tagged it on sale is that the collection is marked as on sale. So I'll show you how I built that collection. Here's the collection, and <clears throat> I made a, a special collection page and the important condition here is that the product tag is on sale product tag is equal to on sale and that's will that'll do the trick for you so now let's go back to um, the home page and get that refreshed okay uh, now we're going to go to the menu on sale now and there is the port it's delicious port wine on sale if I open that you'll see the h1 tag here h1 made it large and bold and in red and I always put the sale date here that way when you go back and you look at your website that cues you in and this is the important part that clues you into the fact that you need to go back to that product and remove that tag now I'm just going to show you by removing the tag from <clears throat> Let's go back up to the product here. By going back to this product and you remove this tag on sale, then it'll remove it from that collection. So it's as easy as that. You come to the page, you take the tag off and you erase your H1 headline. You delete that and you go back here and you change the price back to 50 bucks remove the compare price out and then if you save it now product was saved if you go back to this page the on sale page the product is gone and if you go back to wine under um, port and you look at the port wine now it is removed the on sale information from the script and the price is now back to 50 bucks and you're all set so that's a, a simple way, a system uh, that you can adopt to use in Shopify for placing items on sale. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments, questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, shoot me a line under the comments. Thank you.